I'm starting to figure out a lot of things that I like and things that I like to do. Um, not just by myself, but with other people. And I, besides the whole natural hair thing, I really love the whole everything about natural hair. Because to me, it's not just about hair. It's about the movement. It's about the movement of natural hair. The movement of how it makes people feel. And how it changes people when they decide to go natural. Um, not just appearance-wise, but it changes them like mentally like it's a whole nother mindset of this beauty that comes from within that they didn't have before until they show their true natural self and they're like holy crap i'm cute <laughs> not saying this to say that that is what i thought when i decided to go natural but it's just like a whole nother confidence booster so why'd you become natural jazz well then i'll tell you oh Hmm. why did I become natural because like almost nobody in my family is natural besides maybe two people um okay so honestly when I became natural I did not know what I was getting into like I just knew that I wanted curly hair and I had pictures of how I wanted my hair to be and me stopping getting a perm was going to solve that. Like immediately I thought my hair was going to be how I pictured it in my mind and that's not what, that's not what happened clearly. So I feel like I still didn't answer the question. Why did I become natural? Why did I want to, why did I start this natural hair journey? And to bring words to it i don't really know i think i was in the middle of still trying to find myself while i was in college and i would see people with these like bantu knots or like these natural hairs and i've always loved curly hair like i've even in high school like i used to have my mom braid my hair up while it was wet and then use and then um take it out in the morning and wear it quickly it was never like this like it was never this good because I would get perms because I played sports and all my friends had straight long hair and I wanted my hair to be that way so I guess to conclude I decided to go natural because I wanted to find I wanted to wear my hair the way I wanted to wear it, regardless of it being, I just, I don't know. I, I wanted to wear my hair the way I wanted to wear it. I got sick of perms. I got sick of braids and my temporary leave-ins, like, uh, so, not leave-ins, sew-ins, because I only had, what, like, two of my whole life, and yeah. I'm not going to say never again, but... As of now, never again because they itch the crap out of my hair. But, um, I don't really know, guys. I don't know why I went natural. I just woke up one day and was like, I'm going to wear my hair curly. And then I fell in love with the way it makes people feel. That's it. I fell in love with the movement of natural of the natural hair journey and that's why I decided to go natural. I would look at these women like, yo, their hair is popping and mine is not. So, what can I do to change that or how did they get their hair like that? But it wasn't about that. It was the confidence that they carried that inspired me to want to be a part of that same movement of my natural hair journey and to change everything about how I go about, you know, how I do my hair or how I carry myself through a group of other individuals or I don't know. And it's funny because one of the first people I followed was Mahogany Curls. And I was like, yo, her hair is popping. Like, that's how I want my hair. Didn't come out that way. <laughs> Not at all. And then I got 
I got so wrapped up into uh, curl patterns and 3C and 4A, B, C, and that 3 was the, the preferred hair type texture category. And it's just so much that I learned about hair. And who would have thought? I clip my own ends now. I clip my own ends, I wash, I condition, I deep condition, I hot oil treatment, I FOG protein treatment. Like, I do all that now. Who would have thought? I cannot do my hair to save my life in high school. But here I am, 23 years old, surviving. I recommend, honestly, I recommend us all to just, you know, wear our hair how it's in its natural state regard and you know what i hate and i get on my family members all about all the time about this stop calling people hair nappy because it's not nappy it's just textured differently or it's just kinkier say kinky don't say nappy because when you put these you know negative stigmas against things then your ch that child or person starts to feel you know bad or starts to feel bad about the situation or the thing or whatever so stop saying nappy guys stop saying nappy because it's not nappy it's not because with a lot of conditioner the naps come out and then you have a curl or yeah all in all, I do not regret becoming a naturalista, a natural curly girl, because it's one of the best decisions I think I've made in my short lifetime of 23 years. <laughs> and I truly enjoy being surrounded about, being surrounded with people who enjoy the same things as me and who I can talk about hair products and be a product junkie with, with you know, people who are also going through this natural hair journey with me and it really motivates me when you meet people like Monique Rodriguez and uh Jane Carter and Lisa Price like those women are so they're like the hair the hair industry idols for me at this moment because just watching them on social media and everything, it's just inspiring how far they've come and what they've, how they've impacted others. And I wanna do that. Like I wanna, I'm not saying I want my own natural hair product line, but I wanna, I wanna be that impact for somebody because I know that watching them on social media helped me through my natural hair journey and helped me get motivated to, motivated to keep going and to keep not wanting to put, not put a perm in my head because it's been times where I've been like, yo, I'm over this. But I just want to thank you guys for listening about why I became natural, why I joined this natural hair journey because, um, it's kind of personal. Not really, not really personal. It's open now. It's out there. Whatever. Let's do it. <laughs> no, but seriously, thanks for listening to why I Join this journey and stay tuned for more videos because I got some good ones coming. Got this new memory card, 32 gig. I'm ready to upload, upload, upload. Um, Alright, so stay tuned for my next video, guys. Thanks for watching.